Hello guys, you're welcome. This is uh, Chinedu Bena, the address that um, uh, had issues in church. So you'll be getting more details of what exactly happened because yes, of course, she revealed uh, to her friend what happened to her. So just listen up and get much more details on this one. Why am I not here? Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. Not your face, baby. <laughs> Taking care of him. Hey. Is my oh. Hello, guys. You're welcome. Yes, no much talk on this one. I'll just show you guys the videos of. If you're new, kindly hit the red subscribe button on the notification bell, comment your opinions below so you don't miss out on any of this interesting content, these videos, everything happening around you and beyond. Because, yes, I'll be giving you guys much more interesting updates. Let's check out the video. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, this is the actual uh chat she had with a friend concerning that, um, when she was saying, uh, men are mean, and the friend replied. Uh, with tears there, so just uh, listen up to get the other details. Then. Hello, guys, you're welcome again. So, the sad news of Nollywood actress Chinedu Bernard, uh, concerning what happened to her. I mean, uh, it's really a shock to the Nollywood community and uh, every other person around her friends and family. She slumped while cleaning the church this uh, morning in her hometown Enugu State, Nigeria and she was confirmed uh, dead by doctors in the hospital. Well, Chinedu Bernard is a Nollywood actress, uh, not so very popular but I think she is. She was almost hitting uh, the lamb light. So um, we'll still be hearing much more details from what is going on and uh, everything that happened to her. So just keep watching and enjoying the space. Okay guys, a friend of hers also narrated uh, the incident she had with uh, her just on the 22nd according to her friend saying that she came all the way from Enugu uh, to her hometown for her mom's burial and uh, she chatted her just last night for her to reply this early morning and said man you said that's according to this her friend said uh chinedu bena said men are mean then you called me to check on me asking me how i'm coping with my mother's burial not knowing it was the last time i will ever hear from you baby your dad uh, shocked me under how many five hours and then the news of your death god have mercy on you i feel broken chi baby oh my goodness when i saw this uh video i felt numb god revealed that which we don't know may your soul rest <laughs> I'm no more hanging on a tree. I'll I'll wait on my second degree. <laughs> Forget my PhD because I won't give it to you free. I'm still the same OG as you can see. Ain't nobody out there just like me. You turn on your TV, you go see me. The nigga from 042. You said I ain't no good. I went back to school and I did pretty good. Now I'm back to the hood. But check this out. I'm done with Nollywood. Yeah, that's what's so. You heard that, right? <laughs>
Hey guys, good morning. Um, um, hope you all are doing well. First of all, actually, I've like realized a whole lot of things in this um period, you know, of this, you know, cut and all. Like it's, I know it's been crazy. It's not been easy, you know, staying at a place, staying at like being forced to stay at home and all that. But sincerely, this has really, this period has really helped me in a way. Use this period to work on yourselves, work on the things you need to work on. I know there has been so many things. Check around you. You're going to see something that you've been wishing you, you've actually had time to do. So figure it out and get it going. Like, do something. Okay? Do not waste this period because there are will be a time when you wish you had the kind of time you have now yes i've actually come to realize a whole lot about myself a whole lot about like i've actually come to know certain things about myself that i never knew until now um and secondly i will want to say a very big sorry to those of you out there that i have offended you one way or the other i'm deeply sorry if i have offended you i'm sorry all right um you know sometimes in life you make mistakes and at that time it might not really occur to you that you're making mistakes you might think okay you're actually doing what's best for you you know but as time goes on you begin to have a deeper understanding about things and then you realize that oh you weren't overly right somehow you were wrong partly so that's why I am saying sorry to those who I offended knowingly or unknowingly. I might not even know that I offended you. So I'm just sorry. Okay. So let it go. Let's be one again. You know, this pandemic has really taught me a whole lot to appreciate a whole lot of things. And I'm, I'm glad I, I, I do. I do right now. I do appreciate a whole lot of things that I never really appreciated. Also, for those of you who wronged me, in one way or the other <sighs> I used to have a very heavy heart before now for some people but today I decided to let go so I forgive you all all of you I forgive you you're forgiven I mean who am I not to forgive when I sin every day like my way sometimes is messed up God knows that God, please forgive me and I keep asking forgiveness so why am I not to forgive so you're forgiven I love you I love you all bye okay guys welcome back now I'm sure you saw that one there and I'm sure you enjoyed every moment from that one so put your comments or opinion be if you're seeing this video for your very first time kindly hit the red subscribe button turn on the notification bell comment opinions below thank you guys for staying by and see you on the next video bye bye